everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm back with another unboxing for you guys. I wanna share the newest release from Freckled Fawn. This is January's release, and you guys know, maybe, maybe you know, if you follow me for any length of time, you know purple is one of my favorite colors, and florals, so I am all about this release. It is so, so gorgeous. So if you're not familiar with Freckled Fawn, um, they offer paper crafting goods. I use them for scrapbooking, Bible journaling, memory decks, cards, cards. Um, I'm gonna be using this release in the um, Retro Hip magazine for this issue. So I will link that down below for you guys. So I'm actually filming this all the way back in November because um, I'm working on that right now and thought it would be fun to share with you guys. So. Um, uh, I'm super excited to play with this collection. So um, what they have is a variety of different bundles. So you can do a six by eight, you can do standard traveler's notebook, you can do journaling cards, you can do just the embellishments, just stickers, you can order things individually. So they have lots of different um, options for their kits, depending on what you'll use, what you don't use. So you can kind of customize it, um, which is really nice. You know, a lot of times um, these kits are released and maybe you don't re use everything that's in the kits and so I like that you have the option to order just what you're gonna use. So, uh, like I said, I have a variety of things here. You don't have a bundle that has all of these things so you choose either six by eight, standard traveler's notebook or the journaling cards. Um, and so let me show you the six by eight papers. Now I love the Freckled Vaughn paper quality. It is so nice and thick. Uh, so if you're doing mini books or tip-ins, or you know, things like that, you do not have to double these up. You can also cut them down and create journaling cards out of them and they are substantial. They're great for die cutting out of them. Um, I just, I don't, I don't love playing with super flimsy pattern papers and these are not that. So um, they are, double-sided, you get two of each pattern. So I've already gone ahead and flipped them around so you can see A side, B side. These are the six by eight papers. I do like the six by eights if you're gonna pick one or the other for the papers. These are nice because they almost completely fill a uh, interleaved Bible page, um, or you can cut these down and do traveler's notebooks. However, there are some patterns. I don't know if there's any patterns this time around, but sometimes there's patterns that have like little, oh yes. So like this. So this would be hard to cut down in Traveler's Notebook. It wouldn't be, you know, you're gonna lose part of it. But when you do the Traveler's Notebook size, they've scaled it down to fit the Traveler's Notebook size. So if you find that you're predominantly using this size of paper, you might wanna go ahead and choose that. Um, but if you like some flexibility, I like the uh, six by eights. Now I went ahead and Totally mess this up, so we'll get we'll get through it. This floral is absolutely stunning. It has these blue and purple florals, a little bit of green. I will have color matching over on my Instagram for you guys. If you search hashtag Lindsay Color Swatches, I color swatch distress inks, gelatos, neo color twos, stamping inks, a variety of different things to color match um, this release. So this is A side, and then the B side is this purple star. Super pretty. You've got these labels, great for just telling stories or listing out things. Um, maybe if you're doing pocket pages and you've got you know a variety of photos, you can number these and write the story for each photo. Um, so I really like the functional papers that they do. Or you can fussy cut those out and use those as embellishments if you wanted to do that. You've got this teal and green stripe. I love the gray in this release. So it's like this linen texture. It doesn't feel textured, but it's a printed texture with little white hearts. You'll see this gray kind of in some other items as well. So, so pretty. So you've got, you know, some bright, fun colors, but then there's some winter feel still in here for January. This tone on tone floral, super pretty. Love this. I love the mix of, you know, pretty and girly florals and then just some whimsical patterns like this one here. This does have a uh, grid in the background and then lots of spotty dots. And then you just have a stripe. I think this is like a dark, dark, like charcoal gray stripe. It's probably gonna be hard to see on camera because it's like a micro stripe. It's very, very small. So there is the six by eight papers. The standard traveler's notebooks are exactly the same. They're just scaled down um, to traveler's notebook size, which is really nice. They do also have, um, 
Traveler Notebook binders or albums with sleeves. Um, so I'll link those down below. Those are a great option if you, you know, I like Traveler's Notebooks, but it can be kind of difficult working in these, especially if you're gonna be playing with, you know, chunky things and um, that kind of thing. So it's a nice option to have the albums. So I will link those down below for you guys and these fit perfectly in that. Okay, next up, let's look at the journaling cards. We'll do all the paper goodies. So same thing with the journaling cards. These are double-sided and you get two of each print. These are three by four, same paper that the patterned paper is, maybe it's a little thinner, I don't know, not much though. It's, it's pretty nice quality uh, paper. So again, if you're doing little mini albums or tip-ins, I love using journaling cards in my journaling Bible um, to give me some more private journaling areas um, or I do little pockets and then that way I can come back and do additional journaling. So um, if you're only working in one Bible and you're not wanting to fill it up super quick, um, doing little pockets and tip-ins is a great idea because you can keep coming back and adding more information, more prayers, more notes um, to that page. So you've got three by four cards. You've got a mix of, you know, some statement cards with some room for embellishment um, and then some that have more room for journaling. I love that some of them have prompts on them. Got a 2022 card. I cannot believe 2022. Gosh, guys, the years are flying by. All right, love this so much. So you could add some embellishment to this if you wanted or just use it as is. If you're a pocket scrapbooker, these are great just to fill those pockets um, and you have them as filler cards. You've got some days of the week. So you could maybe use a sticker or something to kind of mark off the particular day that you're journaling about. Uh, so that one's kind of fun. You can even fussy cut these elements out too. So don't think about just using the card in its entirety. Um, you can always cut out the items. So even like this number card, you could cut out the numbers and use that as an embellishment if you wanted to do that. You've got this journaling card here in that purple on purple. So cute. This is my story and it is magic with that grid pattern in the back. You've got wonderful. So again, another statement card. I love the label one. Um, you can run these through your typewriter. They are not like, they're just matte. They're not coded. So they're easy to write on, type on, um, or you could fussy cut out these labels as well. And then you've got the beautiful floral. I'm so glad that you get two of these because, I mean, I don't know, it's gonna be hard to pick between the labels and the florals, but that floral this month is absolutely beautiful. I, I love it. So there are the journaling cards. You can get those individually. Next up, we have the wood veneer pieces. Now, I love Freckled Fawn's wood veneer pieces. They're always really like original shapes and just kind of different. Um, so this month, you're getting four pieces uh, and they are these like label arrows. So um, you can stamp on this. Uh, I would recommend using a quick drying ink. Um, that's gonna give you the crispest impression. So like archival ink, stays on ink. Um, I also like to paint on these. I know a lot of people use wood veneer just naked wood veneer color, but I like to add uh, color. And so I do that with the Distress paints. These are a more fluid acrylic paint, so they um, are very smooth. So it kind of seeps into the wood and gives you a very smooth finish. Um, and then it would be even easier to stamp over the top of if you sealed it in with some paint beforehand. Um, if you're wanting really vibrant color, like let's say you're wanting that really vibrant teal and you're not wanting the wood grain so much, uh, I would suggest going in with white first and then going over the top of that with your your color um, and that's going to give you your truest color payoff but you can also color these in with inks like the spray stains um, you could even try watercolor that's going to give you a more translucent appearance so you are going to be able to see the wood grain which these actually have really fun like pretty wood grain more wood grain than you typically see um, because you've got a more solid um, piece so if you want to really bring out that wood grain um, you could just use a stain or something like that but these are so so fun and be great for stamping on or adding stickers to uh, you do get four pieces now they are wood veneer so there is some dimension to them um, so you may not want to use them in your Bible journaling I do no problem but again another great reason for using those travelers notebook albums as opposed to just traveler notebooks uh, is that you can add chunk and have some room to expand so there are the wood veneers for this month Next up, we have the chipboard stickers. Now, I love Freckle Fawn chipboard stickers because they come all on this sheet. They are adhesive-backed 
but they pop out and maintain the adhesive. So you can test them out, try them out, figure out where you want it on your layout before you commit to it. And then you just remove the backer sheet and it's a sticker. It just is super easy to work with. Um, and they are fun shapes. So you've got those days of the week again, kind of like that card, uh, just be yourself. So very good. This is my story and it is magic. So very happy. You've got those gray linen stars. Like I said, I love the grays in this release. You've got some hexes. So really, really great pieces there. Now it is chipboard. So if you are working with this in your journaling Bible or maybe a standard traveler's notebook and you don't want the extra chunk, you can peel away the back layers of chipboard and kind of thin it out to just the front layer. You will have to use your own adhesive then to adhere it down because the adhesive would be lost. Um, but that's a way to kind of thin them down if you are wanting to use them, um, you know, in your Bible or something like that. But there are the chipboard stickers. Next up, we have the enamel stickers. Now, these are a staple in my stash. I have got a little drawer of enamels that sit on my desk, so I just pull them out and use them as a finishing touch on most of my projects. So you're getting uh, five colors. So these are the color palette for the release this month, and you've got three different sizes of dots. Those are kind of just a good staple piece. I love that you're getting um, several of each size. Um, if you've ever tried to buy enamel stickers from one of the big box craft stores, you know, these can be kind of pricey. So I love the price point of these. I love that they're an option for the kit. Um, and they're just kind of one of those underrated embellishments, I think, but they're a great way to add some texture and it just sprinkles some color. I don't know about you, but I really try to balance out color in the projects that I'm doing. And sometimes I just need a little extra you know, green or a little extra pink. Like maybe I only have two pink items and I need a little more pink so then I can go in with those enamel stickers um, and kind of add that little bit of color. So um, they are, you know, enamel, so they are dimensional, but I have used these in my journaling Bible, traveler's notebook, no problem. Um, they're not too, you know, obnoxious. They seem to work okay in those um, projects. So there are the enamel stickers. Next up, another favorite of mine um, is the washi pages. So you get two of these. Now, rather than doing like a whole roll of washi, they do these um, washi stickers. So great for storage. If you have limited storage space, you're not having to store, you know, whole drawers of washi like I have to do. <laughs> or, you know, I don't know about you, but I don't always finish rolls of washi tape. I have tons of unfinished rolls. And so this gives me just enough that I can create with the collection. I have some pieces. I can play with, um, but then I can move on to, you know, new things the next month or, or whatever and not have just, you know, a roll of specialty washi, um, like, like the floral. The floral is absolutely beautiful, but I don't know that I would use a whole roll of that washi because it's so color specific. Um, so I like that there's just enough that I can play with it, use it, um, but I'm not just hoarding things at that point. So you're getting two pages of the exact same prints and there are a variety of widths. So you've got some wider ones, you've got some thinner ones, and it is washi tape, like washi stickers. So it does tear just like washi tape. Um, it pulls up just like washi tape if you want to reposition it. So um, it is true washi stickers. These are fantastic. So you get two sheets of those with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven prints this month. Next, we have the label stickers. So these are a cardstock sticker. Uh, these labels are great. These are gonna be a good staple item. Now, these do have a little bit of a coating on them. So I have typed on these. You just wanna make sure that you're careful um, when stamping and things like that, because it can be a little slippery, but you can do it. I would just use arch archival ink, stays on ink. Um, you can even try a dye ink, just make sure that you heat set it um, before you touch it, because <laughs> you know you might smear it. But you've got lots of labels and then some flat flag elements. These are just a good kind of staple sticker sheet to have. Um, and then there's colors, you know, there's colors that we see a lot in the Bible journaling world, like that, that kind of blushy peachy pink, teal, that kind of speckled egg blue color. Those are colors that I've seen quite frequently um, in different collections and things. And so even when you're done working with this month's kit, these are something that you should be able to incorporate in mix and match with other collections and other projects that you're working on. So there are the cardstock stickers. 
And then last but not least is the Alpha. Now you guys know I love a good tile Alpha and this one has got that gray linen print on it. So super cute. You've got plenty of vowels. There's lots and lots and lots of the vowels, multiples of each letter. You do have um, a double set of numbers. Uh, so that is great. And these are tiles. So they're like little rectangle shapes. These, these are a good one. So there is a look at the January release from Freckled Fawn. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. Don't forget to head on over to Instagram, hashtag Lindsay Color Swatches. Look for the picture of this kit and then swipe and there will be color matches for the release. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything. Don't forget to pick up a copy of the Retro Hip Magazine um, issue 22 because I will be using this collection in that issue. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.